Liz here with Liz's Crafts. I'm just going to wait for the notification to come up on my phone so that I can see when people join. And that should have been it right there, but let's take a look. Alrighty, so uh, when you bring uh, this up on your phone, it's going to look like this, but if you turn it this way, you'll be able to see it, the table and what we're doing more clearly, more closely. And if you like this video, please do this, and in the crafting world, we call this sprinkle. So sprinkle this on your page, and... Um, and thank you, David, for letting me know you got the notification. I appreciate that. And uh, uh, sprinkle to your friends and anybody that you know of that might like um, this video. And any of the other videos. Like You can go to the um, video section of Liz's craft page and see all the videos that we've done, which are step-by-step crafting videos and you can watch the replay. Just type in replay when you watch it and uh, go ahead and sprinkle to your friends. Please follow and like my page and um, uh, set your notifications so that you'll get notified when I go live. Okay, so today we're going to do a unique craft. I haven't been able to find anything like this before, so um, I feel like God gave me the idea on how to make this. So what we have are these pill bottles. These are prescription pill bottles. They are, let's see, I think three, not quite three inches tall and about one and a half uh, inches around. Now you can also use these pill bottles, the tall skinny ones they're about three and a quarter inches tall and about an inch around. The only thing is you also have to use another lid. So you would put your glue in the bottom, in this lid, on this ridge that's on there or on the bottom here and just glue it on like this. And then you can use, you can also use these. Now, if when you use these instead of these, you're pumping, Pumpkin is just going to be a little bit taller and a little bit skinnier. So this is just another um, pill bottle that you can use. You're going to use seven pill bottles, and uh, you want to make sure they're all the same size. So I'm going to put this aside, and we're going to get started. So you want and i know i say so a lot i'm catching myself say that and i'm trying not to take you're going to have one in the middle and then you're going to have six going around in a circle so you want to take your middle one and have your hot glue ready and you can use um you don't have to have the high heat hot glue so you're just going to put glue from here to here and then you're gonna glue one of the bottles to it, just like this. Set it on a table, press down so you make sure they are the same height. You don't want one a little bit higher than the other. And so for the next one, you're gonna put glue here and then glue here. And put this bottle on there. Now, if you get your glue in the uh, wrong place, all you have to do is put your bottle up against it and put glue in between there, and it should stick. But make sure each time when you're putting your glue on, you're sitting it down on the table so that they're all the same height. And I need another glue stick. You will go through quite a bit of glue, so make sure you have uh, plenty of glue sticks on hand. We're just making a circle of six pill bottles around this middle pill bottle. Just 
Shannon's on. Hi, Shannon. How are you? I'll tell you what, the weather here in Texas is really nice today. We have a nice breeze going on. We went to our granddaughter's uh, soccer game and they won one to zero. Okay, so for this one, for the last one, you want to put glue here in the center one and then here on this one. So you're going to have three strips of glue. And you want to make sure that they're all even. So this is what you should have. This is going to be our bottom and this is going to be the top. You want to take a piece of cardboard and this is just a thin, a thin piece of cardboard. I think this came out of maybe the calendars or something that this was in between the calendars. So you want, and here I go with the word so. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try not to say that so much. So much. And here I go. Anyway, Put your pill bottles on top of your um, cardboard and then draw around the bottom. And then you're going to cut this out. It's going to look like a flower. This is what it looks like. Uh, you can kind of see that a little bit. Just taking my scissors and I'm cutting out around the outside edges of what I just drew. Now this probably is going to be a little bit longer craft. It is more in depth from beginning to end of how you want to make this pumpkin. But I thought it needed to be so that you get the full concept of how to make it. We have our um, bottom here. You want to set your um, pill bottles on top of it just to make sure it's good and then you want to put glue a drop of hot glue on each of the bottoms here so I'm just going around in a circle putting the glue on and then I'm attaching the wood box I mean the wood bottom the um, cardboard bottom to it and I'm going to turn it upside down and then press. And it doesn't seem to be sticking real well. So I'm going to add some more glue onto it more towards the outside edges. So you have your top here, which are the caps, and then your bottom. Now you want to take some batting or uh, what I have here is a, an old pillow. So it's the stuffing from an old pillow. But you can use whatever you have. And we don't want a whole lot of it. You don't want it real thick. And you want enough of it to wrap around your pill bottles. So I'm just going to cut it right here. Let me get my better scissors out.
And I want to uh, thin this out a little bit. It's just a little bit too thick for what I want. So like I said, you don't want it real thick, but you don't want it super, super thin either. Okay. I might have to go with this piece here. Okay, so what we're going, here I am again with the word. We are going to leave the bottom as is. We're going to wrap it around the sides. So I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue down the side of the jar. And I'm going to attach the um, batting to it. And then I'm taking it, taking it all the way around. And then I'm going to glue this part this side also onto it. So here we have the bottom. And again, I guess I can't make myself stop saying so. I'm going to add a little bit more glue so that I can catch the lid. Now, I do want to have some of the um, batting around the top, but I don't want it to overlap. Just going to cut a little bit of this off. And then I'm going to start gluing this to the bottle tops. So we have it just like this. And I'm going to start gluing it to the bottle tops. So I'm just putting a drop of glue on each bottle. And then I'm going to press the batting down. And as you can see, we have our basic pumpkin shape with some batting around it. And I'm just going to add just a teeny bit of batting right there and a little bit right here where you can see the bottle. Okay, that looks pretty good. So you have your bottom, your sides, and your top. Now you want to get some um, drop cloth. So what I'm using is, I got this uh, two pack of medium duty canvas drop cloth. It's uh, 4 feet by 15 feet and is 8 ounces. I got this from Home Depot. This is the value pack. Uh, this was really, I think it was cheaper to buy the double pack than it was to buy the single pack. But you want to make sure this does not have plastic backing on it. You want it just to be the drop cloth. And when you get it, you want to uh, wash it and dry it and then wash it and dry it. So you want to do that twice. And make sure you use um, like a dryer sheet in it to make it softer. So I didn't measure this. I just wanted to make sure that it was big enough to where I could take the sides up and um, 
and grab them. I'm just holding them. And we are going to tie them with some jute. You're just uh, grabbing it up. You're going to hold it tight. And then you're going to tie it with some jute. So I just have this jute and it was a roll that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut a piece of it. I am going to um, fold it in half, take it around my pumpkin here, and then I'm going to put the ends in through the loop, and then I'm going to pull it tight. And you want to be careful because sometimes this jute isn't real strong, and you'll break it because I did do that with the last one. So you want to um, pull it. And this is where you can break it, so be careful. And then just tie a knot in it. And then you can just clip the ends off. And then you can um, go through and pull up your material so that you have it tight. So I'm just pulling the ends up, and then we're going to cut this off. I'm just pulling it tight. Okay, now I'm going to take my good scissors and I'm going to cut this. So you want to leave Part of it on there for your stem and what I'm talking about is right here you want to leave enough of this to be your stem I just broke my oh okay I just broke my uh, jute so let me do this again I guess this jute is kind of weak so you might want to get something that's a little bit stronger Again, I'm just putting my ends through my loop, and then I'm going to tie it as tight as I can without breaking it. You, you can also use um, those zip ties. The ones that I have are too small, but you can certainly use zip ties. Okay, so I want to trim this down a little bit. And you can leave it as tall as you want. It's just whatever you prefer. short. I think I'm going to um, leave this one at this height. Let me get rid of these pieces that are laying here. And then we're going to start wrapping around the pumpkin. So where these um, pill bottles are together you can you can see the indentation so you should have six 
and we're going to wrap this three times. So you're going to have it in between each pill bottle. So I'm going to just wrap this around my stem once and then I'm going to take it around there. I'm going to go to the opposite side. I'm going to wrap it a couple times. I'm going to take this underneath the strip that's already on there. If I can get this through. It just gives it some more stability. And it brings it up to the top. So then I want to take it to the next one. I'll do it to this one here. And take it to the opposite side. Wrap it around a couple times. Well, I'm just wrapping it once. And then I'm going to put this through this one. And then take it around to the last one, which is right here. I'm going to put it underneath the one beside it here. And then I'm going to wrap it around the pumpkin a few times. Now I did leave a tail of about this much on there. And I will... Um, cut this and tie it off. So I'm just going to tie it in a knot. And then I'm going to cut my ends. And then you, you just want to straighten this out a little bit. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. And this is what it looks like around the sides. So this right here is your stem. Now I'm going to take one of these leaves. Now this is Harvest Accent Decor I got at uh, Walmart. There's six pieces in a bag and these are red leaves. And we're just going to use one of them. And I'm going to cut off the stem. I want to keep it I want to keep it on the leaf. But where it comes out of the leaf, I want to cut that off. So we're just going to use one of them. And what I want to do is I want to um, put this stencil on there. Now this stencil comes in a set. There's 12 of them in a package and they're called Inspiring, Encouraging Words. Now this is a great deal. If you're just starting out stenciling and even if you've been stenciling a while so this one says great job you got this don't wish for it work for it dream big think happy thoughts actually I can keep trying and we've used these in different projects find your passion you are enough. Pray more, work less. And live a life filled with love. Now you can use whatever stencil you want. I just like this one here. Um, that says, keep life simple. And sometimes don't we overthink things? And yes, you do get 12 in this package. 
and I did put the link to this in the description. I also put the link to the chalk paste and the link to um, this squeegee brush and that's what we're going to use today. And the reason I'm going to use this today is because this is a burlap leaf and uh, it has little holes in it so it has raises and dips and all like that and then we have the um, the the metal stem on the back and it's going to be a little difficult it would be difficult to use a regular squeegee for this so i like using uh, one of these and i don't know if you can see the tip on that so that's the one we're going to use and I will be using the almond latte chalk paste on this. So I'm just going to get some on my squeegee brush. And I'm going to go over the words on my stencil. And the brush will just help me get it in... Um, the screen portion because like I said the uh, leaf is not flat it is raised up and uh, it's it would be a little bit difficult to stencil on and as soon as you finish stenciling you need to remove your stencil and clean it now since I'm live I won't be cleaning it on live but I will put it in some water face down so my chalk paste does not dry in the uh, screen portion and you do want to put something underneath your leaf because there will be bleeding through because this has holes in it okay so I probably went over this one a little too much but you can see that it says keep life simple and i will um i'm going to put my stencil in the water face down and then i'm going to take my um, heat gun and i'm going to dry my uh, chalk paste This one here turned out a little bit better. I didn't go over it as much, but it says the same thing. Keep life simple. And I use the black chalk paste. Okay, so that's pretty much dry and I'm going to put that on my um, pumpkin. So you want to decide what's going to be the front of your pumpkin. And I think I like this right here. And I want to put my leaf to the side. So I'm just going to put some hot glue on this bottom edge of my leaf. And I'm going to attach it to my pumpkin and press it down. And then you can bend your leaf to conform to your pumpkin like that because of the wire that you left on it. And we also want to take some ribbon. And I have this red polka dot burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to tie that around my leaf and I did notice I put my stencil on upside down so when you go to put your stencil on do the top of the stencil here mine saying keep life simple this way instead of this way so make sure you um, hold your leaf correctly I did it correctly on this one but it's okay I'm still gonna keep it this way 
So I'm just going to tie a simple um, bow like you would for your shoelaces. need more of an end. And I wanted, I wanted this over here, so I want my bow here. And let me cut this. Put this aside so it's out of my way. And with my stem being as long as it is and uh, the width of the, the ribbon, then my ribbon doesn't fold over. Like on this one here, oh, I did unfold it. So, yeah, never mind. I'm just working on my bow, trying to get it even. And the more I talk, the more I say, so, I'm sorry, guys. Guess I just say that word way too much. Didn't even realize I was doing it. I'm going to uh, dovetail the ends and to do that you just fold your bow over and then you have your wire ends right here on this side and then you're just going to cut going in so it just makes a neater looking uh, end to your ribbon I'm going to do the same thing to this side And then I'm just going to spread my bow out a little bit. I have uh, this, I think it's called Pip Berry. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure. But we are going to make these little swirlies. And we'll make three of them. So, again, I'm saying the word. I just have my pencil here. And I'm going to wrap it around my pencil. And you can make it whatever size you want. It's just whatever you think looks good. Some can be shorter, some can be longer. I do like it to where I have the two little pit berries on the end. And then where I'm going to glue it is mostly just the wire. And I'm going to glue that right there, kind of under the bow, but on the side of the pumpkin stem. And I'll put some hot glue on that to hold that in there. And then we will, um, ouch, work with it, straighten it out, move it around when we get all three of them on there. And like I said, we're going to do three of these. Put one on each side and then one in the center. I'm just kind of going to turn it a little bit like this so that I can wrap it around, wrap it around my stem. I'm going to, it won't fit there. So just wrap it around the base of my bow. Just like that. So 
I'm going to hold it there for a couple seconds until it dries. And then we'll put one uh, underneath the bow in the front. And I just have a regular pencil. I'm just wrapping it around a regular pencil and just to where I want it. And like I said, you can make it any size you want. It's up to you. And this one I'm going to put in the middle of the bow just like that. And then uh, once you have these on here, you can play with them. You can bend them down if you don't want them sticking up. You can make them stick up if you want to. So I think this is good like this. And now I have a little button. So this is just a plastic button that I have, and it has um, a little stick girl on it that I thought was cute. I know you can't see that, but I'm just going to put it in the middle of my bow. Fluff out your bow, make sure your um, glue hairs are off. If your ribbon is twisted to where you see the back side, twist it and then uh, take a little bit of hot glue and just put it on the back there and hold it down. And then uh, the, the uh, ribbon does have wire in it so you can um, also play with it and make it go around your pumpkin. Now if uh, your, your twine is showing and it's not exactly where you want it, you can put a little bit of glue in the back of your pumpkin and just hold it. Hold it on there for a few, a few seconds until it sets and then it'll look better. And you just have this cute little pumpkin made with pill bottles. So the pill bottles were basically free. You're going to throw those away anyway. You have your cardboard that came out of a calendar or a box or whatever. So it's basically free. You have your stuffing that uh, was in an old pillow that you didn't want anymore. So that was free. So the only thing you paid for was your drop cloth. And you can use that over and over with lots of crafts. So very minimal expense there. You have your ribbon that you get at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And you're not even going to use all of it. So you have a lot left over for other crafts. You have your pit berry that you can also get at the Dollar Tree. And then the leaves I got at Walmart, they were $1.38, I think it was, or 39 something like that, for six of them, and you're only using one. And then your little button. And that's all there is to it. And this makes such a cute little pumpkin. Now, I probably should have uh, made my stuffing I probably should have put some glue towards the bottom so that it would stay more towards the bottom. It kind of wants to ride up a little bit. You can also put some stuffing on the bottom. I did with this one. I did not do it with this one. But you can do that. It's just whatever you prefer. And then I also wanted to show you what else you can make with these pill bottles. So I use these pill bottles to make this little gnome. And it's basically the same concept. I use these here 
with the extra lid glued on the bottom. And I'll probably make a uh, live on this, but it probably won't be until uh, November. So again, you just have your bottom here with the um, cardboard. I use the mop head for his beard and his hair. And this is just um, the drop cloth for his hat. And his body is also the drop cloth. And then I just gave him a little uh, red pom-pom nose that was on a, uh, it was the red, white, and blue uh, from the 4th of July that I got, I don't know, 80% off or something like that. It was a, like a swag or something. But anyway, and that's it for that. So tomorrow, I will be, I will be back probably at noon, maybe a little bit later. And we will be making this. So we just have this wood cross from the Dollar Tree. These white beads came from the same place that um, his red nose came from. It was all together on a uh, on a tassel or, or whatever you want to call it, a swag, whatever. And uh, then I just had these natural wood beads and I painted those with acrylic paint. And then I have this material that was from uh, the strips from Walmart. It's kind of like a jelly roll, only they say they're strips. I'm sure they can't use that name. So uh, this cross is hot glue and then it has um, the gold leaf on it. So I'll show you how to do this tomorrow and we'll probably do a red one. And I will see you uh, around noon, if not maybe a little bit later. So until tomorrow, keep crafting.